Have you ever wondered why narcissistic manipulation often leads to a profound sense of loneliness? Narcissistic manipulation is an intricate dance of control and influence, often leaving in its wake a trail of emotional wreckage and isolation. Let's unpack this complex psychological phenomenon. Firstly, we need to understand what narcissism is. At its core, narcissism is characterized by excessive self-interest and a lack of empathy for others. This self-absorption often manifests in the need for constant admiration, a sense of entitlement, and a tendency to exploit others for personal gain. Now when we talk about manipulation, we're referring to the intentional influence over another person, frequently to gain control or power. Narcissistic manipulation then combines these two concepts. It's a calculated approach by the narcissist to control, influence, and dominate their relationships, often by exploiting the emotions, needs, or vulnerabilities of others. One common tactic in the narcissist's toolbox is gaslighting. This is a form of psychological manipulation where the narcissist causes the victim to question their own memory, perception, or sanity, thereby creating a sense of confusion and self-doubt. The victim starts to question their own judgment, making them more susceptible to the narcissist's control. Deceit and broken promises are other common tactics. The narcissist might make grand promises or commitments only to break them without a second thought. This not only erodes trust, but can also create a sense of instability and unpredictability in the relationship, further tightening the narcissist's grip. Undermining relationships is yet another strategy. The narcissist may subtly or overtly sabotage the victim's relationships with friends, family, or colleagues, thereby isolating the victim and making them more dependent on the narcissist. In essence, narcissistic manipulation is a complex web, intricately woven with strands of deceit, control, and influence. It's a cycle that can leave victims feeling isolated, disconnected, and profoundly lonely, struggling to trust and connect with others. Meanwhile, the narcissist remains trapped in their own cycle of self-absorption and superficiality, unable to form genuine, deep connections with others. Narcissistic manipulation is a complex web that can leave victims feeling isolated and disconnected. Let's delve deeper into the victim's experience. How does narcissistic manipulation lead to loneliness for them? Imagine, if you will, a steady erosion of trust. This erosion is caused by the continual onslaught of gaslighting, deceit, and broken promises that are the hallmarks of narcissistic manipulation. This relentless erosion chips away at the victim's ability to trust, not just the narcissist, but others as well. This can lead to a sense of isolation and disconnection, where the victim may withdraw from relationships out of fear of further manipulation. Now consider the subtle ways in which a narcissist can isolate their victims from their support systems. They do this by undermining or sabotaging the victim's relationships with friends and family, often so subtly that it goes unnoticed until it's too late. This leaves the victim feeling alone, without a support system to turn to for help or comfort. Next, we have emotional exhaustion. Dealing with a narcissist's volatile moods, negativity, and incessant demands can drain a person emotionally. This constant state of emotional depletion leaves the victim unable to authentically connect with others, further deepening their sense of isolation and loneliness. And then there is self-doubt and shame. Narcissists are master manipulators, able to make others question their own perceptions and reality. This can lead to feelings of self-doubt, shame, and unworthiness in the victim. These feelings can further isolate the victim, hindering their ability to form genuine and meaningful connections with others. Each of these elements, the erosion of trust, the distancing from support, the emotional exhaustion, and the self-doubt and shame, works together to create a deep sense of loneliness in the victim. The victim, left in a state of emotional turmoil, often withdraws from relationships, further deepening their sense of loneliness. This is the tragic reality for many victims of narcissistic manipulation. But remember, understanding is the first step towards healing, and with the right support and resources, it is possible to break free from this cycle of manipulation and loneliness. Now what about the narcissist? They're the ones manipulating, but do they also experience loneliness? Indeed they do. Narcissists, despite their outward show of confidence and superiority, often struggle with profound feelings of isolation. Much of this stems from their inability to form authentic relationships. Driven by self-interest and a lack of empathy, they find it challenging to truly connect with others. They may surround themselves with admirers, but these relationships are often superficial, built on admiration for the narcissist's inflated persona rather than genuine affection or respect. 
The narcissist's fear of exposure also contributes to their isolation. Their carefully constructed persona is often a fragile construct, built on lies and manipulation. The fear of this facade crumbling, of others seeing the real, vulnerable person beneath the mask, prevents them from opening up and forming genuine connections. Then there's the pathological envy that narcissists often harbor. They see the genuine, deep connections others have and desire the same for themselves. However, their inability to reciprocate true empathy and vulnerability hinders them from forming such relationships. This envy can create further isolation, as they find it difficult to be around those who have what they so desperately crave. Lastly, narcissists often live in an echo chamber of self-importance. Surrounded by admirers who constantly validate their needs and desires, they're shielded from the reality of their behavior and its impacts. This environment prevents them from experiencing the vulnerability and humility necessary for deep, meaningful connections. It reinforces their self-absorption, trapping them in a cycle of superficial relationships and profound loneliness. Ironically, the narcissist, despite their manipulative behavior, is trapped in a cycle of self-absorption and superficiality, leading to their own form of loneliness. Their inability to form genuine connections, their fear of exposure, their pathological envy, and their echo chamber of self-importance all contribute to their isolation. They're the puppet master of their own solitary existence, a tragic figure ensnared in their own web of manipulation and deceit. So how can both the victim and the narcissist break free from this cycle of manipulation and loneliness? The first step towards breaking free is awareness. The victim must recognize the manipulation and understand its impact on their life. This awakening often comes with a lot of pain and confusion, but it is the beginning of the journey towards healing and recovery. The victim needs to rebuild trust, not just in others, but in themselves as well. Constant gaslighting can erode self-confidence and lead to self-doubt. But remember, trust is not built overnight. It's a process that requires patience and perseverance. Setting boundaries is another crucial step. The victim must learn to assert their needs and protect themselves from further manipulation. This might involve distancing themselves from the narcissist or even cutting ties entirely. Prioritizing healthy relationships is also key. Victims often isolate themselves, fearing further manipulation. But it's essential to reconnect with supportive friends and family and to foster new connections built on mutual respect and understanding. Now let's talk about the narcissist. Breaking free from this cycle is a much more complex process for them, often requiring professional help. At the heart of narcissism lies a fragile sense of self that is heavily guarded by manipulation and deceit. To break free, the narcissist must confront this fragile self and the fears that protect it. Therapy can provide a safe space for the narcissist to explore these fears and the underlying issues that drive their behavior. This exploration can be a painful process, but it is necessary for growth and change. The narcissist must also learn to cultivate empathy and vulnerability, skills that are often underdeveloped due to their self-focused perspective. This involves learning to understand and share the feelings of others and to reveal their authentic self, despite the fear of exposure. Breaking free from narcissistic manipulation is a journey of healing and rediscovery for both the victim and the narcissist. It's a journey that requires courage, patience, and a willingness to change. It's not easy, but it's worth it because everyone deserves to live a life free from manipulation and loneliness. Let's talk about the path towards healing. What support is available for those affected by narcissistic manipulation? It's a journey, not a quick fix, but it's one that is absolutely worth embarking on. First and foremost, it's crucial to understand that you're not alone. The feelings of isolation and disconnection are a byproduct of the manipulation, not a reflection of your worth or your ability to form meaningful relationships. Reach out to trusted friends and family. It may feel difficult at first, but remember, these are the people who know you, who care about you, and who will stand by you through thick and thin. In addition to your personal support network, professional help can play a pivotal role on the path towards healing. Therapists and counselors who specialize in dealing with narcissistic abuse can provide invaluable insights and coping mechanisms. They can help you navigate the minefield of emotions, rebuild your trust, and reclaim your sense of self. Group therapy or support groups can also be beneficial. Here you'll find others who've walked in your shoes, who understand the depth of your pain, and who can offer empathy, advice, and encouragement. It's a space where you can share your experiences and learn from those of others, creating a sense of community and mutual understanding. The journey towards healing also involves setting boundaries and prioritizing healthy relationships. This means learning to recognize and avoid toxic patterns 
and fostering connections that are based on mutual respect, understanding, and genuine affection. It's important to note that narcissists, too, can benefit from professional help. Therapy can address the underlying issues that drive their manipulative behavior, helping them develop the skills needed for genuine connection. However, the decision to seek help must come from the narcissist themselves, and it's not your responsibility to force or facilitate their healing. This path towards healing may be long and challenging, but it's a journey that leads to a place of peace, self-respect, and healthy relationships. It's a future free from the shadow of narcissistic manipulation. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. Support and help are out there, ready to guide you towards a future free from the shadow of narcissistic manipulation.